Our guest presenter today is Mudale Mwanza. We're having a great conversation here. Uh, so let's continue. Um, uh, with every innovation, innovation comes risks. And we all have uh, seen how these platforms, social media platforms, have been abused by scammers, body shamers, cyber bullies, and just plain rude people. You have been a victim of online attacks yourself. How have you managed to navigate all of this? Um, first of all, I think social media is just one channel that one can be bullied, Mm -hmm. but there's also the physical bullying. Mm. Yeah. Um, and in both cases, there are laws, um, that protect each and every single one of us. I love the law. I love going to my lawyers and that's, that's one of my favorite things to do, PZ, actually. Mm. Um, if you insult me, you bully me online. I will take you to the cleaners. I don't even go live and address you. I just call the lawyers. Yeah. And they do the things. Okay. There are laws that protect each and every single one of us. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to adjust or succumb to people's nonsense. You know, I feel sad for people who bully other people because I think they have more problems than you do. So if somebody's coming at you and you know, reflecting their insecurities on you, they have a bigger problem. But then their problems shouldn't be your problem. You shouldn't be insulted because somebody sees themselves less of you. Mm. Less, yeah. Where do you draw the line? Where, where, when, when do you call the lawyers? Because you can't call the lawyers on everybody. You have a million followers mm. on Facebook. And there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people yeah, talking. There's a lot, a lot of, of people nonsense. talking, yeah. So where's the line there? The, the other thing is I'm quite busy, so I don't see most of the things, but mm. the one, the things that I do see, mm. I, I do call the lawyers because uh, there's just stuff that's really unacceptable. Mm. I have built my brand for so many years to get to this point and you are not just going to come online and insult me, demean me, degrade me and have people look at me a certain way mm. that's going to possibly take away an endorsement deal from me. You will not reduce my income because you think I am A, B, C and D or you think... I am this person that I am not. Mm. So the things that I see and the things that deserve a call from the lawyer, I definitely pick up the phone and I make that call. Okay. Mm. Uh, I want to find out from you. Uh, I know that the law protects everybody from, you know, cyberbullying where that uh, cyber law in place yeah. uh, that is being used to do that. But at the end of the day, after the lights are switched off, you are just Mutalim ones at home. Mm-hmm. How do you handle that? Because mm. does bullying get to you? When you sit back there, yeah, you have your son, you have your mom, you have your family around you, and there are all these things being said on social media. How do you deal with that? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't even think about it. And I'm looking at you, and I'm just like, okay, Zay. It doesn't affect you. You have thick skin like that. I don't care. I'm just like, what are you doing? What, 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 okay, give me an example. Bullying me over what? You don't like my dress. There's so many things that happen yeah, around you're going you. To, you're going to discuss me. You don't like my dress. There's so many dress. things that happen around you. <laughs> okay, so examples. Yeah. You don't like my dress. I don't care. If, if you want me, they were there now, Andy. Fumapa. I don't I, care. I don't want to name drop. I've you seen vloggers. I mean? I've seen a vlogger that, that you know did a whole video talking about you and your parenting skills and what you post online and that's how it's affecting your son. Doesn't that get to you? No, it doesn't because that guy, first of all, umu ameve nga kwa tafia matakwa kudu ni problem. Okay, that guy is a sad human being. He's in my DM. He's been texting me. And probably the only reason he's still married is because I've never spoken. I've never addressed him. But the day I address half the people that shame me on social media, I I would destroy their lives with just one post or one video. That guy is a sad man. No, I don't care. And he continues to talk about me. If you're texting me privately and you want me and I don't want you, you're obsessed, stay in the obsessed corner with your big bums. I don't care about you. I would never listen to that guy. The guy who went out of the country, came back with an accent and moves around with a camera? Oh, please. And I must stay up at night worrying mm. about that. It doesn't bother you at all. No, it does not bother me at all. Ish. And I'm a great mom, so he's going to discuss my parenting skills. What does, does he live in our house? What does he know about my son and I and what I do with my things? Oh, he so should fall back. So this is the side of of uh, social media. These are the things that kind of come with having the amount of attention that you have. <laughs> oh dear. So now she was a guest <laughs> on, on on Hot FM. 
the, a few days ago, they called her back to be a guest on that, that, that show. And the host asked her a very leading question. And it was a baiting question. You know, baiting, to bait. You know what it is to bait? To bait means, you know, you've got, for those of you that are, that are fishing enthusiasts, you know, you go fishing for fish, you have a, a fishing rod, and then you've got a line, and at the end, you've got a hook. And on the hook, you put some food on that hook. That's called baiting. So when you bait the hook, you put food on the hook, you throw it in the river, and then it, it sort of, it's in the water, and the fish sees the little thingy, and boom! grabs the bait the hot fm radio host was baiting mutale trying to get a a, a a a reaction out of her by saying to her there's a social media vlogger and and the guy knows who i am he could have just simply said there's this, this simon Mwewale in television he was talking about the way you raise your eh? your son what do you think or how does that affect you but oh no, he he decided to play it safe and he called me, a, there's a certain social media personality. And of course, Montale took the bait and she went running with it. And before I say that, this is what I was thinking about. Montale had a few, you guys remember, a few days ago, she did a video where she was twerking on a bed in her room. And I'm, in all fairness, she was fully clothed, okay? And I did a video where I said, in America, that's perfectly normal in the States. In fact, in America, that's nothing. In America, that Mutale Mwanza twerking, fully clothed, clothed on her bed with her blessed assurance up in the air, Mutale Mwanza is a nun in America because that's nothing. But I did a video where I said, you know what? you're a mother and you have a son and all i was saying is that you as an influencer everything you do you have to do it within the context of your son that's all i'm saying because i know how social media is i know how children are children are the worst bullies in the world if you think that social media is bad oh honey wait till you go to high school there are some emotional mercenaries in high school. Not even high school, go to primary school. Those kids are brutal. And as a father, because I'm a dad, I've got four kids for goodness sake. All I was saying was, Mutale, you can't live your life for you or you alone. You can't do it. And I gave her this advice. And I give this advice to all social media personalities. You have to choose one or the other. You can't have both. If you're going to be someone that posts pictures of you as a mother at your son's graduation, you can't then turn around the following day and then post a video of you twerking with your blessed assurance stuck up in the air in a sexual manner in the doggy style position. You can't do it. You can't, or at least you shouldn't. Because I know there's some of you, but who are you to tell her what to do and what not to do? Well, she's an influencer, for goodness sake. So everything she does has a ripple effect. That was my point. Here it is. That hot FM radio DJ goaded and baited Mutale Mwanza, and Mutale Mwanza went off. She literally went off the chains, boy. She said, I'm not going to listen to that man. And she said with, with a big tush. Now, here's the thing, guys. And let me tell you, let me tell you who started that. It was that rascal, Chilofya Tayali. He started this narrative of Mwewa having a big tush. And then I looked at myself and I said, what are they talking about? I'm a big, tall guy. I'm, no, I'm regular. There's nothing strange and abstract about my tush. There's nothing abnormal about my blessed assurance. It is proportionate to the way I'm designed. And by the way, I am fearfully 
and wonderfully made. You have to know that. I don't walk around saying to you, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't do that. You know why? Because it's, it's a given. It's obvious. Here it is. You've got these jokers, people like Mutale Mwanza and, and uh, uh, Chilofia Tayali, that tried to create a false narrative. Andrew Ejimadu, that rascal that you guys call seer nothing, he tried to do the same thing. He tried to label me as somebody with a big, like a with a big behind when i'm regular guys don't let people body shame you unnecessarily on facebook if you know you're normal say you're normal if somebody says you've got a strange looking face and you know you're beautiful honey just say i'm beautiful doesn't matter what you say now here's the thing Yeah, he did. He's the Tayali is the one that started this thing years ago. Okay, and you guys, you guys bought into that. And this is the reason I post pictures of myself from every angle so that you can see. And you know, so many people when I post it, they're like, "What's strange about that?" I mean, you look regular to me. It is an attempt to make you think that you're abnormal when you're not fine i'm fine i've always said that i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me in terms of that my physicality there's nothing wrong with me now here's here's the other thing Mutale said and this is what i want to hone in on Mutale said the man is constantly in my dm of course i am i was at least i was we used to communicate we used to talk just like i talked to every other vlogger Every vlogger in Zambia, spe we speak to one another. We're in each other's DMs. I can equally say that about her. She's in my DM. You know how? Because we speak. We, we, well, we used to. We used to talk. But here's the difference. There is nothing in the DM that can remotely threaten my marriage. Nothing. Because, you know, her suggestion was, no, if I were to reveal... I can destroy your marriages. There is nothing in there that could potentially destroy anyone's marriage, much less my own. So my admonition to Matale is that if there's something in there that you are convinced of that will destroy my marriage, honey, more power to you. Honey, have at it. Honey, take it to the bridge. Honey, to the left, to the left. Do whatever the hell you want doesn't make any difference it doesn't you know why because there's nothing in there that is abnormal or incriminating because here's the here's the tool guys and here's the trick this is what these these people do they will they will throw shade they will be ambiguous they won't be very clear they'll say no if i were to do this this would happen and then you guys the audience you eat it up you lap it up. What, what, what did we say? What, what was that? But when they bait you and they create a smoke screen for you to think that there's something there that could potentially destroy someone's marriage, all they have to do is say, oh, if I were to do this, it would destroy your marriage. Oh, go ahead. I'd love to see that. I would. So my point is, we communicate, we speak, or at least we sh we used to. So there's nothing incriminating about that. There's nothing. The same way I speak to Lily Matambo, the same way I speak to Ken Dumbo, the same way I speak to Tissa the Trendsetter, the same way I speak to Yo Maps and Kiddist. Yo Maps is in my DM, I'm in his DM. Lily Matambo is in my DM. I'm in her DM. And vice versa. There's nothing inc incriminating about that. But if you want to create a big storm in a teacup, what you tell your audience is, oh, I tell you, if I decided to just release my conversations in the DM, some of these chaps, their marriages would disintegrate. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> You only live once, Mutale. This is your moment to shine.
It is. 